Now, CBS 42 News at 10 starts with a big story. The, the big story tonight, COVID vaccinations are on the rise across the U.S. The White House Coronavirus Task Force reporting an average of 900,000 per day. Good evening. I'm Mark Franklin. I'm Sherry Jackson. That is an 80% daily increase compared to July. CBS 42's Jen Cardone joins us now live in Birmingham with a look at vaccinations and COVID testing here. And it seems both are up, Jen. Yeah, that's right, Sherry. In fact, UAB is reporting about 47% of Alabamians have received at least one dose of the vaccine. But health leaders tonight are saying that's still not enough to get back to normalcy. Vaccine doses are on the rise across Alabama and nationwide. We have seen people still getting the vaccine, but I can tell you it's not enough. Lindsay Harris is president of the Alabama Nurses Association, and she says there is still hesitancy. The vaccine is safe. It works, and we're just encouraging everyone to get vaccinated. But as vaccines go up, so is testing for the virus. A lot of these visits are COVID positive visits. Stephanie Edwards from Your Kids Urgent Care says they test over 100 people a day for COVID. It's typically the people who feel as if they don't have COVID and they're taking precautionary measures that do pop positive on these tests. Both are working hard to dispel any myths about the vaccine. I can understand the fear behind being injected with something that is quote unquote not normal, but the injection does provide the exposure that we need for our bodies to build those defense mechanisms against the virus. Harris saying nurses are resilient and will continue to help you make the best choice for your family. We are pleading and asking everyone out there to, to help us. Now, Harris says health care providers are both mentally and physically exhausted, but they're going to continue to provide information on vaccines for as long as is needed. Edwards says they will continue to provide those COVID tests to give a little peace of mind as we continue to navigate through the pandemic. Reporting live in Birmingham, Jen Cardone, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.